Okay, now the second tutorial, now this follows on from the settings tutorial, so if you haven't watched that yet, please do so. This is just going to do a simple invoice. Now, when we first go into the program, this is the first time using the program, uh, a couple of things that we might want to do is, of course, we want to set up a new customer and we want to maybe, and I say maybe because this is optional, but you can come into the number increments uh, page here and you can set them up so that let's say that uh, there's me and another guy called Bob both doing quotes we don't want uh, conflicting quote numbers or invoice numbers so one would set at a different rate so I would start at 6,000 he might start at 7,000 etc etc so to, to make that live you actually have to put in your number and as soon as you hit done, it'll save both of those numbers and these will now be our new numbers that we'll start from. Okay, so let's... Oh, I fingered that. Okay, so when we come into a new quote, uh, the first thing we're going to do is, let's, let's say we do a quote, we're going to hit new quote and we're going to come up into customer. Now, at the moment, I don't have many customers here, so let's create a new customer. So this person, just come up here, this opens a new contact screen, put in their first and last name, Bob Down, and he's from Down, Proprietary Limited, okay, and you can add his phone number. and save that and then another thing cool thing would be to put his email in at uh, let's say hotmail.com okay all right and then once that's done we can save it press done and now we can choose him from our contacts list so the more contacts obviously you have in here this is actually your phone's contacts list so every contact that you have in your iphone uh, will come up in this list, which handy because uh, nine times out of ten you'll have ninety five percent of your existing customers already filled out. Let's choose Bob Brown now. As you can see, the customer list comes up, and it's got on a nice little card here with his name and his email address and his phone number. That's all we need from Bob at this stage. So let's go back to here. The date is already filled out. We can go in here if we want to backdate something but at this stage we won't. Um, and okay, so now we put in the vehicle details. So we can come in here, choose a vehicle type. Let's say Bob's got a BMW 7 Series. Good on you, Bob. BMW 7 Series arrives here. We're gonna put a rego in. Bob's rego is Bob. stock number or a VIN number. Uh, sometimes when you're working on a yard, they'll use a VIN number. Obviously, um, use whatever number you need to do to uh, yeah, make it happen. Let's say it's 5674 is the stock number on this one. Color of the car, these are all optional fields, of course. And sometimes insurance companies ask you to supply a speed of speedometer reading. So a uh, nice little thing here, just change it to whatever the speedometer reading on the car. Hit there, bang. Okay, so that's now saved in too. All right, now we could add some insurance details. I'll show you that more in the invoice side of it. Uh, with a quote though, we're going to actually sort of uh, maybe add a few little areas here. There's a little bit of old damage around Bob's car, so we can choose any one of these fields. We could sort of say, okay, there's a little bit of old damage here and here. Just by touching the screen, it'll show a nice little graphic there. Uh, he's got a little bit of a scratch up here, and we're going to take a photo here and here on the vehicle. Now, we're going to save that. Now, that will be saved into our photos list, which we can be emailed anyone. Uh, this is just a handy little reference guide. It's not a full, complete car sort of 
uh, you know, tick sheet, but it does give you a quick and nice and easy guide. And, and trust me, if you do fill one of these out, it is handy. If a customer comes back and says that scratch wasn't there and you do have proof of it, uh, it certainly saves you a lot of headache. Okay, so now for this quote, we're going to come in now into repairs. And we're going to just add a few fields in here. We're going to remove some partial trims. Now these fields, did you see that automatically update? Now that updated with the price that I preset in the settings menu. So if that field not isn't correct, it's just a simple act of just touching the screen, putting in your own price for that field, and, and no problems. It's all done. We've got six fields here. We can add some more if we want. And... We're okay with our R and R. Left hand side, let's say that the left hand side had a little bit of light damage on the front door. Again, that, that's being loaded out of the settings bundle. Or a little bit of medium damage in the back door. Okay, that's probably a little high for the back door, so we'll just touch the screen and we'll reduce it to say 150. And it's as easy as that to actually change the prices. These are ob obviously just a quick reference guide. Once you set up Let's say you're doing insurance prices, then you can just go light, medium or heavy and move through very quickly. Saves you a lot of time and a lot of money. Come through, all these other panels all work exactly the same way, light, medium or heavy. Uh, you can come through and change them as you like. We're going to add a few. And if, you can add some parts in there and part prices. Alright, so now we've got some repairs in there. So we come to our last page and we're going to finish the quote. It gives us our repair prices. Uh, that's added up from all the obviously all the fields that we've just done. Uh, here in Australia, we've got a GST of 10%. I can grab that and I can slide it to whatever I want, whatever your tax code is in whatever part of the world you're in. It will save it for next time also. Now, uh, I won't actually use the dealer field at this stage. I'll show you that on one of the invoice fields. But as you can see, $740 is the subtotal. 10% uh, of that is GST, gives us a total, parts, nothing, total including the total amount of GST, and then our total total. If we come to save and print, all our fields are set out. So these are the company details that we set out in our settings bundle, and new quote number, Bob's details, no insurance details at this stage, the date that it was done, the car details, meaning BMW 7 Series, the ID number, the rego, the colour and the speedometer reading. And we've got down here, we've got our R&Rs and all our repairs. Coming down to a subtotal, GST amount and total including that. Now this screen here, all we have to do to actually save this is just double tap the screen twice. It saves now as a document. So because I have turned JPEG on, it'll save in two places. In this, in this instance, I'll actually show you whereabouts the other documents is, but all we need to know now is that it's saved into our documents folder. We can find that by just going back to the start menu and we find our documents here. Okay, now we find Bob down PDF. That's it. That's the one we want. So we can just click on that. Here's our quote, and this is in PDF format, so this actually prints out very nicely, nice and clear. We've got it, everything there. If that was the wrong one, then obviously we could go back and choose another one, but this is the right one. So that's all we needed at this stage, so let's just email that to Bob. It comes up, and it's got PDR president quote, da 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 da. Just gonna hit here, type in Bob. There's his email address and send it to Bob. Okay, so that's done. Bob now has that in his inbox and that's our first quote done.